Hey guys, welcome. Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktops. Doesn't matter if it's LMDE6, Linux Mint 21 or 22 any series. Talking about uh, having fun with your panel today. It's all about the panel and you can see mine is on the left side of the screen today. I'll talk about positioning that on the top, the right, and the default is bottom. And also the relationship of the size of these icons and the different zones. There are these are broken down in three zones. And also if you're using intelligently hide or auto hide, you may run into some problems. And I'll talk about some of the ways you can think about that. Also, my panel currently has a label that is doesn't say menu. It says LMDE6 and you'll see that in a minute. And it displays the full date on the bottom and top panel. It's all about the panel today. So I'm actually in 4K mode but I'm filming in 1080. So when we deal with different screen resolutions, and a lot of you folks will have different screens, we get different visual experiences. And uh, I'm the type of person that uh, demos everything on my videos, on my 500 plus videos. If you become a new subscriber, you'll see that. I also recommend that you read my about section and the posts if you become a subscriber. It's all about the panel today. So none of us are born knowing everything. Now I've been around Linux ever since it was founded. What is that? Roughly 30 years ago, I think. And I was using other computers and Unix before that. Visual experience about the panel. Now this has a logo and that displays the full date, but only if I'm in this mode. So now you can see LMDE6 and it's displaying the date and the time. Right click on your panel to move these things rather easily. Right click, move here. So in some instances, depending on how you got this panel set up, it could be a hindrance. Uh, to give you an example of this, I will switch over to auto hide. That's very common what people do. You know, you go in here and you click open your browser and then you're surfing the uh, internet and you wanted to go and close and all of a sudden this menu comes in your way. It's blocking that button. Uh, just giving you something to think about. Well, I could use Alt and F4 to close that if I wanted to use a keyboard shortcut. Or maybe I can change this to intelligently hide. Now let's do that. It's currently staying. So let me open up a browser and go full screen again. Still got the same problem. Or I could uh, maybe reduce the window and work from this environment. That's fine. All right, so we have to think about some of these things that when we use the panels in different positions. Now, what would be optimal in here would actually just be the standard mode. Show always. Now, when I open up the browser, it doesn't move out of the way. I can go full screen and I have both buttons here. So this doesn't hide or done, but it just, you'll just have the real estate from top to bottom on your browser, but you lose a little bit of space on the sides. But at least you can see that without having that interfering on top of the, the actual close button. So some people are looking for solutions for stuff like this. All right. so. Some people don't care to move panels, but I'm just showing you, you can. Now I want you to notice the spacing in here. And of course there's no label and my time and date thing is cut off. Now it's full. It's all about the panel. Do you know how to use your screenshot tool? I do recommend those and you can do window screenshots. So an example of this would be if I'm editing the panel, you can open it from here or you can right click on the panel and open it from here. So this window here, um, I'm going to put a lot of the stuff back to default to let you see what it looks like. But the panel is actually broken down in three zones. If it is in the standard position, it's called left center and right zone. Unless you have a good reason to edit your center zone, I don't recommend it unless you have a good reason. The left and the right zone though, I will talk about. What if the panel is in the vertical position? Well, if your panel is in this position here and you right click, 
then it'll say top zone, center zone, bottom zone. Still the same numbers. All right, so I will close that and move the panel by right clicking and moving it back to the bottom, which is the standard position. And now we're going to talk about settings. When you uh, make screenshots, again, you just open this up into an SC and you'll find your screenshot tool. I do a window screenshot. It's usually the most conservative and smallest file that it'll make. Just snap the shot. I'm going to put mine on the desktop as a temporary measure. And this will only be one screenshot of the left zone. But if I was doing an edit on the right zone, I would do another screenshot. And then you can save these to wherever folder that you want those to be in the future. And since we're not born knowing everything, it's a good idea to do screenshots until we get comfortable with everything in here. So let's start with the left zone and the panel height to standard, which I believe is 40. So what I'm going to do is remove all of these things that I've already customized. I believe that's a 16 and there's no text. You can always put whatever, like Mary's computer or Bob's machine or whatever. Uh, anyways, I'm going to put all this stuff back to default. So the colored icon sizes is generally set to 16. Your right zone font sizes is set to allow theme to determine font size. And your symbolic icons are generally also 16s, generally. All right, so the other icons that you see here, what I'll also do is the colored icon sizes is drop those to 16 also, so everything is in line. What do you think about the panel now? It's kind of small, isn't it? And a lot of people that install Linux Mint Cinnamon Desktop for the first time get frustrated because they don't know how to adjust this stuff. Well, that's why I demo everything on my videos, my 500 plus videos. So again, depending on your screen resolution, your choices, you could be playing with these, trying to get these to the right sizes without realizing the fact that they're independently adjusted. Keep in mind, you may not have 4K. You may have 1080. You may not even have 1080. Maybe that is your maximum screen res. I don't know. Can't answer that question for you, but I'm showing you what mine is currently. So these are tiny. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to increase. Now, actually, I'll leave that alone. Let's deal with these guys first. So the panel, again, is broken down into zones. If your panel is on the bottom, it's left zone. If your panel is on the vertical fashion, it would be top zone. The font sizes um, is something that I'll use when I use the label. So I'm going to drop it down to colored icon sizes, which is step two. These are your colored icon sizes. Now, generally, um, I don't know if they've switched this setting, but to optimally or exactly is usually my choices. Now, exactly would bump that usually up against wherever your panel height is set for. So I'm going to increase that to a 47. Now you can see they grew in size. As I go the other way, they get smaller, even though because I'm using that setting there that says exactly. So going back to 47, 48, somewhere in there, they're now taller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this icon and hit configure and put that text back in here to remind you this is LMDE6 and at the same token make this icon roughly the same size as that number right here. So if you want, I'll do a 46. So it's one number under the panel height and it should be touching. And it is. If I don't like the black and white Linux mint icon, then I can change that to a green one or any of the other derivatives in here and even silly stuff, including emojis. You can also browse for your own icon if you like. All right, so I just adjusted the height of this based on the height of my panel. So there's a relationship with this icon and the panel. That's the only reason I'm talking about this. Other than that, there's also other settings which I have different videos for. Now, all we show is our default. Auto hide, intelligently hide. They come in handy for a lot of things, but not always. Panel height is how tall this thing is. 
and the left zone colored size icons, you probably want to scale that to your optimal panel. Now this is generally set here, so you can see how small the text is. So I usually overwrite this to a 16. Now what exactly does this mean though? Allow theme to determine font size. In here, your system settings are themes. You may have not changed anything or maybe you're not aware of this. But there's lots of things you can change depending on what you're doing. And you can also, um, there's, I think is 90 extra themes that Linux Mint has for you, you can download and test. So themes also sometimes determine font sizes that are even smaller or even larger. But I like to overwrite that setting. Take a good look to see what that, how big this logo is. And some people don't like logos and that's fine. I'm just showing you, you can and what the relationship of this is. The maximum is 16. Now you can see it just went large. So now we're done with the left zone. Again, unless you've got good reason, I would leave the center zone alone. Now the right zone, on the other hand, has also a relationship to our panel height. Now you can see how small this stuff is. And maybe you're okay with it, but some people are not. Font size, again, allow theme to determine font. So this could be larger or even smaller, depending on the theme you picked. But I'm going to make this bigger. Again, same thing, 16. Now, these over here are called applets. Your system applets generally are white. Some of the other stuff that you have, that you have open programs, also produce icons in here. All right, so we're going to talk about font size. Again, I'm doing this because this has writing in it. And then the colored icon sizes are actually these three icons, or these two. So I'm going to um, click that and do that, or that. That's as, as tall as it'll go. This is Solar. If you've never heard of that, I do have a video on that to program in your Bolt receivers or even the regular receivers on Logic Tech keyboards. And it reports battery information too. That's a simple screen recorder icon. That's the colored icon. The symbolic icons are the white ones. That's at 16. What do you think I, I should be at? Well, that's at 47. Probably want to put that at 46. Enter. That makes these icons touch the top and the bottom of the panel. 47, 46 is good enough. Now you know how to resize those. As I move the panel around, right click. Again, you could also have an, a problem with the size of the icons or how many icons you can place in here. Let me give you an example of adding a bunch of stuff in here. So let me throw in LibreOffice Writer into the mix and uh, Throw in uh, GIMP on top of that. Okay, now I'm almost maxed out here. What would you think my solution would be here? Well, if I move the panel back to, let's say, the top, I have lots of room in here now, or back to the default position of bottom. But I want to run the panel over here. Okay. Then we can address a couple of things. Not that one. I click that in originally. Since I have so much, uh, very limited room in here, I have some choices though. I can go with the top zone and reduce the size of the colored icons. Instead of scaling them this way, I could drop it to 24. That gives me a ton of room in here, but they become smaller. I could do the same thing with the right zone or bottom zone in this case, right? We are doing symbolic icon sizes. Since my panel is at 47, Let's do a 37. It shrunk a little bit to give me more room. It's all about trying to get a combination if you're wanting to run the panel in a vertical fashion. Because again, from top to bottom, I have less room than from side to side. But at least I have an option of doing stuff like this. And keep in mind, you know, when we are dealing with trying to put a whole bunch of these icons in here, that all depends on how much real estate you got. 
your screen resolution could also affect all this. Now I'm back to small icons again, so I'm going to fix that. So my uh, colored icon sizes on my left zone currently is at 24. I want to do this exactly to get him bigger. And the same thing with the right zone. I'm at 37. My panel is at 47. I'm going to make that at 46 to get those icons bigger. It's not a problem with top or bottom because that's the same room. It's just displayed differently. Okay. And then again, when I'm running this in the top and bottom mode, if your panel is not disappearing, then you probably don't have a problem with this. However, if you decided to turn on this features, auto hide, and you open up a web browser, it goes full screen and then you're aiming for the close button. Guess what just got in the way? Your calendar. So I could use Alt and F4 to close the browser, but is that really something that you would like? Well, again, I could also just turn this back to always show. That way I can run my browser without having to have it interfere with my close button. Something to think about when we're doing panels. Thank you for watching.